ऑयल फाइनली हैज कम क्लोज टू एटी डॉलर लेवल्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम नेचुरल गैस अगेन इज ट्राइंग टू ट्रेड विद अ बुलिश पास द सेम थिंग्स एंड द सेम बिहेवियर एज वी एक्सपेक्टेड इन आर मॉर्निंग एनालिसिस एज वी डिस्कस इन आर मॉर्निंग एनालिसिस विद द एशिया सेशन दैट येस इफ स्टेज बिलो एटी वन पॉइंट फाइव एटी वन पॉइंट थ्री जोन वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर्वर्ड टू शार्पर ड्रॉप एटी पॉइंट सिक्स एटी डॉलर लेवल्स विल गेट अचीव प्रिसाइज इट इज गॉन क्लोज टू एटी डॉलर लेवल्स एट द सेम टाइम नेचुरल गैस इज ऑल्सो टू पॉइंट सेवन टू दैट इज वॉट वी आर डिस्कस एंड यस टू पॉइंट सेवन एट टू पॉइंट एट लेवल्स आर स्टिल इट इज नॉट बीन एबल टू ब्रीच वी हैव रिकमेंडेड अ बाय अराउंड टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्सटी फाइव वी कॉल एंड इट इज प्रिसाइजली एट द सेम जोन सो नो वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट विद द यू एस सेशन which position you should trade trading crude oil and natural gas we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day those who watched the first one definitely would have profit and that is why i recommend to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the live market analysis or join my free telegram channel where you get the live updates the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first first we'll look into us crude followed with natural gas do watch till the end now oil on the early charts first of all it is trading outside bullinger bands the resistance is seen here you can see it has breached this channel in which it was trading you can see the highs it has achieved lows it has achieved 80 is definitely a good support and yes before we proceed your just one like button is a great motivation for me if you press the like button and if you appreciate if you think that my efforts are appreciable uploading twice a day and delivering day on day basis with higher accuracy definitely press the like button do comment also your every comment i read and always it gives such a great motivation for me to deliver consistently so do press the like button do share share it across do subscribe as well with that now look here on the hourly charts you'll find it is trying to show a reversal also moving averages have crossed over here and this zone again 81.3 to 81.6 which was the support zone is now going to be the resistance zone hence till here we have to be careful it can retrace a little it can retrace to 80.8 81 zone and then 81.3 84 1.5 levels also but that's still a retracement not a reversal here yes it is trying to trade bearish if you look at the larger picture you will observe see a uh, drop here higher highs then again drop here so higher lows higher highs means it can try to drop here all already it is dropped till here 80 and the next support level should be at around 79.6 79.4 zone if it breaks below 80 dollars now see stock elastic on the hour early charts is oversold and hence a little retracement cannot be denied the macd is also extreme even with extreme bearishness so possibly it could converge a bit the rsi is also trading oversold and this calls for also a little retracement but the beauty of the indicators is without any real concrete movement it can uh pull all the indicators in the com comfort zone and i'll show you many instances now see these smaller candles what is the meaning of these smaller candles that these just you know cool down the indicators which were highly overbought at this situation they will just pull down the indicators a little bit but let's have a look see the moving averages have started to converge they are trying to cross over for a sell at the same time this is trading outside bullinger bands it may get a push on the upside it can try to form a symmetry which suggests that possibly if it stays above 80 dollar levels we can expect now 81 is the next target 80.8 81 is the next target a stock ist here is also oversold the macd is here extremely divergent and with bearish which calls for a conversion conversion in the sense it can try to converge a bit with and smaller means greener candles here rsi is also at bottom coming to 3 hr charts on the 3 hr charts my problem is first bearish candle second bearish candle with a smaller body size there could be a third bearish candle also which might take it below 80 dollar levels 80 79.8 levels so i uh, i'll definitely watch out for how it behaves with this candle if it tries to reverse from here certainly we can expect lower highs which means 81 81.5 levels can get achieved stock elastic oversold macd is extremely bearish here possibly we should converge we should expect a conversion here rsi almost at bottom coming to the 4 hour on the 4 hour charts reversal here drop retracement drop and this time it has come back till towards this zone if you just draw a line here you will observe that see uh this is a support zone with that oil has achieved higher highs 
it is trying to fall in the box means if below 80 we can expect it to stay within this zone before looking forward to any upward move as the sell entry is very much clear that we are going to take a sell entry now only below 80 levels where also even if it draws below 80 79.8 79.6 79.4 very very nearby support very very nearby support it will get so till 79.4 levels we have to watch then below 79.4 directly it will lend to 79 hence a sell entry 880 can be taken with a trailing stop loss of 20 cents see the stochastic here is also oversold max macd is extremely bearish rsi is also dropped coming to the daily now look at daily charts yesterday we have seen that it is given a flat top and first red candle we have discussed also in the today's update that second red candle is waiting here now the second red candle also as we can see symmetry we can see identical shape this suggests that it can drop till towards 79.5 and in fact 79 levels also hence below 80 yes you can stay short it may try to achieve the 20 period moving average again sitting at around 79.2 79 levels be watchful below 80 more bearishness may prevail in oil here the stock is looking down macd now see on the daily charts macd is crossing over for a sell this also is indicative that in the near term today it will give a bigger, bigger candle then possibly a retracement and then again continue with the drop for a little while and this drop is going to be sharp enough rsi is also looking down here considering this just stay short further below 80 but be watchful it can try to limit its movement between 79 79.5 levels still it's a gate move here you can expect it to drop there you can expect it to get support there and uh, yes you can book your profits there on the below 79 further bearishness may be seen on the upside i will only recommend you to buy here at 81.5 level still 81.5 i will not recommend you to buy or rather you can buy at 81 however you have to be extremely careful till towards 81.5 81.6 levels only above which it will try to trade bullish as it is a bearish day and we may see 79 79.5 zone take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at natural gas and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch 24th 25th batch is going to start in first week of september limited seats are only available register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description with that now let's have a look at natural gas natural gas seeing the high here at 2.78 levels retraced here getting the support from the 20 period moving average now trying to break out yes you can stay long about 2.76 levels expect 2.8 this time and beyond 2.8 anyways sky is the limit as i have told several times in my today asia session update also and before that also beyond 2.8 my targets are very very high for natural gas so you have to be watchful here yes it is giving you higher lows, lows possibly we are looking forward to a good rise here a stochastic flat macd is bearish here trying to converge a bit possibly it can converge crossover rsi is also now looking upwards again on the two hour chart similar observation here we can uh, see it is trying to give a breakout the next candle is something you should observe definitely it may try to take it about 2.78 and 2.8 levels stochastic rising macd macd on the other hand this is my uh, zone of concern this is my point of concern here it is crossing over for a sell and hence uh, till 2.78 now we have to be careful we should not buy rsi was overbought it is cooled down a bit coming to the three hour charts if you look at the three hour charts see on the three hour charts beautiful formation so far higher highs lower lows now lower lows suggest that 2.72 might get achieved which is definitely a great great support only below 2.72 i will recommend you to sell for 2.7 2.68 now remember see on the three hour charts uh, prices are still divergent from the 20 period moving average which is right now at around 2.7 2.68 levels and hence if you're selling at 2.72 you can expect it to drop a little further but remember this is a retracement not a reversal one has to expect that it is still going to go bullish so you have to trade with a stop loss trailing stop loss see macd uh, uh moving averages are divergent and be bullish here stock stochastic has dropped significantly and if you look at the macd which is also trying to converge crossover hence a little retracement cannot be denied rsi near to overbought levels coming to four now four hour charts higher lows higher highs 
this is a retracement channel after these two red candles it is trying to retrace it may confine its movement within this before looking forward to another down move till towards 2.68 possibility exists for these levels stochastic has dropped macd willing to converge crossover for sell it is still bullish rsi is trading very near to the overbought zone coming to the daily chart the most important one the daily charts if you look at uh see first of all this is a great great resistance 2.76 2.8 levels we have seen that in past we have discussed this in past we have mentioned that in past that this is a great resistance zone it is still getting the resistance at the same levels now second thing on the early charts i have showed you something see this and a beautiful flag and then this breakout and hence about 2.8 you should just stay long in natural gas we are going to break past 3 3.1 levels in near future it possibly not in one session but in few sessions definitely we may achieve those levels if it stays about 2.8 levels also see these candles higher lows so it can form a double top and retrace and uh, now the support is seen at 2.64 2.6 levels very 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 important support here for natural gas stock is rising macd on the daily charts is bullish and it is divergent rsi is flat so what it will try to do it will try to achieve the highs first maybe it may try to break past 2.8 2.85 zone 84 levels and then show a pull back so the both things will happen the indicators will cool down on the 1h 2h 3h 4h while on the daily charts it will still stay bullish as it is just crossed over hence you can buy at 2.8 Seven eight levels and sell at two point seven two. In between this six cents, do not take any position on the upside. Be careful till two point eight, two point eight to two point eight four levels. Beyond that, just stay long for eighty three, uh, two point nine three dollar levels also. On the downside, you can sell here at two point seven two. However, two point seven, two point six eight two, very good support. Then two point six five. These are three major major supports. and it can probably bounce back from any of these levels close to 2.6 so take your positions accordingly put a trailing stop loss and take your trades trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you